Hey guys, so here we are back on uh, Prokhorovka and uh, I'm now exploring the line of um, auto-loading French light tanks. Um, started with premium tank that I featured in a previous video, the 1357. Um, that's a tier seven premium. This one is the tier six tech tree tank. It is the AMX 12T. Now I think about going to the 1-2 line and doing some spotting, but my uh, my friendly um, light is going to do that job. So I'm going to go to the hill. And what a lot of people do here is they go to mid and spot over the ridge. The problem I have with this is that I can't use my binos. Um, I, I don't have coated optics on this tank. I have binoculars, gives me extended view range, but I have to be stationary. And we see that Chaffee doing exactly that. He's up on that ridge. So not only is he spotted, um, but his view range is compromised. I find you can do a very good job of spotting mid by taking the hill, as long as you don't get spotted, obviously. So we're gonna go up the hill with my friend, the M4A1, and see what we can see in the middle and possibly spot anything coming up the hill as well. So just pause here for a moment and let the, uh, the binos activate. And sure enough, we spot a Rudy over the back there. Did I spot him? No, I think somebody else spotted him. I didn't get the spot for that one. So I'm going to move forward a little bit. And of course, now I get spotted. So may there be the enemy light. Well, one of them is up on the hill here. So I'm going to uh, drive around like an idiot for a while just to uh, make sure that I don't get focused by Artie. And perhaps I can disappear. This is the problem with Sixth Sense. As you know, when you've been spotted, you never quite know when you've been unspotted. And there we go, it's my uh, my fellow AMX 12T. And uh, what a great time to run into a tree, eh? Can we get a shot on him? Uh, well, we do, but he's already dead. So um, so let's keep moving around again. I'm sure that Artie's still looking for a tasty snack. And I'm going to try and make my way to this bush here. Ah. And of course, I spot that 25 TP, and even though he don't think he spots me, maybe he does, but just the fact that he got lit up, maybe he's uh, he's a good player and he understands that the place he's being spotted from is likely to be that bush. So he hits me with a blind fire. We're going to settle down here for a while. That 25 TP is now retreating back and uh, still see the Rudy in the middle. The enemy seem to be... Uh, up a little bit at this point. We've taken one of our heavies out, one of our mediums, one of our TDs, and of course the Air 20 light that went to the 1-2 line. So we've nobody spotting on the 1-2 line. Uh, although there's maybe this me the medium, the... Uh, <laughs> I, and of course, as soon as I say it, he dies. Um, so, first kill, we finish off the Rudy in the middle. And uh, it's 5 all. So what I do in these tanks is um, I treat the game uh, as a game of two halves and uh, the first half is just exercising patience, sitting still and uh, using the view range to get spotting for the rest of the team. We have two artillery on our team and uh, it's better to service those guys than it is to service myself for damage. So I think this 25 TP, yes, they must be out of range because I'm not being spotted. And let's get some rounds into him. There we go. And as we transition um, later in the game from this passive spotting role, that's when we can really do some damage in this tank. Um, the clip's not big enough with the alpha that each round does to mop up many of these tanks when they're on full HP. But when they're on partial HP, I can clip out and take them out. Um, what's coming up here? Oh, I think we've got uh, M10 RBFM. Now, depending on how close he gets to me and how good his optics are, he will possibly spot me. So let's make sure I'm in the bush well. Still neck and neck here. Um, I don't want to shoot. 
Well, I see S44 over here. Let's see what I can do to him. So I'm not penetrated. I don't know where that one went. I'm not penetrated. I'm not penetrated. But I think somebody's getting some uh, some rounds into him. And of course, huh, the uh, T25 has now been replaced by a comet in the middle there. Lord, can we put some rounds into him? Yes, we can, but he spots us. And I guess that was the CS44 getting some revenge there. So 1800 spotting right now, 500 damage, not doing too bad. Um, actually, a little bit up now on uh, hit points and tanks. So we're in a good, strong position. One thing to note in this tank, you don't get a lot of ammo. And uh, because it's an autoloader, you can uh, go for it pretty quickly if you're not careful. Um, some of the tanks on this line, you really have to give it time after the uh, you know, the interclip, interclip reload um, to fully aim again sometimes. So if we get some shots on something, maybe we can demo that. But you see the aim time is not great. Try and take a snapshot on the uh, M10, and of course, it, it fails to penetrate, and I get spotted. So, time to run around again. But you know what? We're going to go back into this bush again. I can't believe the enemy haven't worked out that if they just blind fire this bush constantly, it would effectively take me out of action. You see, after the um, yeah, after the shot, the bloom gets pretty big on this tank. Still waiting, still waiting. Um, the enemy have finally gone ahead on tanks and certainly on hit points. So what we need to do is just chill a little bit. We take out this uh, this M10 RBFM. <laughs> yeah, I guess all my friends on the hill have now been taken down due to the uh, the M10 spotting. So we really do need to get rid of him before we uh, go any further. So we have a Scorpion left. Don't know what his hit points are. Uh, okay, so here's the M10. There we go, straight into the side. 49 hit points destroyed for the second kill. Okay, so now we need to start making some moves. This is where we, we go from the, the passive scout role. as something a little more active. And uh, for some reason, I'm still loading the APCR rounds. I think that was probably a mistake at this point. So I'm going to let my binos activate. Can I see anything? No, nope. move to the next bush. My biggest worry is that there's, uh, there's something... Uh, the, the other tank destroyer, perhaps, in the B0 area. Okay, we got that Comet. Got a nice flanking shot on him here. If he clears the buildings. What's my accuracy like? Yes, with that shot. And now I have to wait to reload. And we relit the CS44 too, or the, the T34 lit, lit these guys, I guess. Um... Now we just have to wait for the re reload. Ah, there we go. Get another shot in. Can we get another one? Critical damage, of course. Let's finish him off. Come on. There we go. And that's our third kill. And uh, the comet gets finished off too. So again, we're ahead. But unfortunately, I'm looking at the player colours. Those colours represent the... Uh, the WN8 of those players and we have a VK3601 which is a heavy tank and I've just wasted all my uh, my, um, my composite shells um, so my pen on my regular shells is certainly not as good let's see what we can do though and there he is there's the 3601 so I'm going to have to flank around him to even stand the chance um, hopefully now they've been spotted the arty can take um, some action. Uh, our scorpion's hiding in the back there. I'm not sure why he's hiding in the back there. 
who he's hiding from. They still have a medium on the enemy team that hasn't been spotted yet. No idea where he is. I'm just trying to keep out of vision here and hopefully the T-3485M on our team can, uh, can fend off these guys. The uh, WZ-131, the Chinese tank destroyer, um, is moving in. And he's on full hit points too. So I don't know how that duel's going to go. Right now, I just want to take care of their artillery. Take that wild card out of the game. Of course, he spots me, but he's right there. Can we just finish him off before he turns? Yep, yeah, we can. And now what we need to do is... Um, I guess we lost our T-34. But the artillery, I suspect, took out the uh, Chinese tank destroyer. So now we have the unspotted medium left, and we also have this heavy that I can't penetrate, or I will struggle to penetrate, certainly frontally. Luckily, our Scorpion's on full hit points. So that's a bonus, and we still have two artillery. So our job now is to spot. And hopefully, if uh, our artillery get good shots in the open, and here's the... Is he AFK, or did I just see him shoot? the unspotted medium uh, low win 8 player so um, hopefully his tank's not set out for anything uh, anything spectacular in terms of spotting and damage dealing so let's get rid of him first then we'll worry about the uh, we'll worry about the VK I don't want him anywhere near the artillery who would be sitting ducks I guess if he, uh, if he spotted them so looks like they've already hit him and let's finish him off that's our fifth kill. And I guess this is the point where our Scorpion is trying to uh, hold his own against the uh, VK. Um, I think the artillery just took a big chunk out of him. So we're certainly ahead there. I guess both the artillery are reloading at this point, um, as am I. And uh, nothing either of us can do, any of us can do, to save the Scorpion. And he dies. But this VK now is a sitting duck. And sure enough, we take him out. Our sixth kill. So that was pretty good. That was 1,700 uh, damage and over 2,000 spotting. And uh, let's take a look at the results at the end of this battle. So there we have it. Nice victory in the AMX 12T. Uh, we got our first air tanker on uh, this tank in this battle um i've since got another one i'm really enjoying playing it and also got a top gun here which is pretty nice because this is my uh, new ish eu account only a couple of hundred battles on it at this point so it was nice to get those uh, uh as tanker and top gun now if we look at the team score uh we weren't top on damage that uh, goes to our t3485m who bravely defended the cap against that uh, wz towards the end there but we did come top on experience, and that's because of all the spotting we did. And there we go, six kills. Over to the uh, detail report from this battle, and you see we spent 25,000 on ammunition. This was really because of the uh, composite rounds that we used, the premium rounds. Always difficult to know the balance you uh, you should take on, on tanks, and especially this one, because there isn't a, a very large capacity for ammo um, equipment. Uh, I've got vents that I put on pretty much every tank. Um, I've got the binos instead of the coated optics, which gives me 477 view range. I think that would be go that would go below 450 if I put optics on. Uh, but I also have a turbo because I feel that this is just a little too slow without it. If I was to change that out, I would probably put the low noise exhaust on and bump up that uh, that camo. Um, what is it there? It's like 36, just under 36, and that is with camo skill on my crew. You see my three man crew up there they have camo they also have brothers in arms commander also has six sense and we're still working on the recon skills and um, the situational awareness in this case and then we'd go on to do uh, recon so increase increase that view range a little more um, not using a premium consumable just regular repair kits um, fire extinguisher and med kit so uh, i think that kind of wraps this up for um for this video uh, if you haven't tried this line check it out the uh, the 1375 is a pretty good tank since i made this video i've also got the bat chat uh, 12t which is the tier 8 
And um, yeah, I think it's a great range of tanks. So once you learn how to play these auto loaders, you can have some real fun in them. So speaking of auto loaders, uh, I'm just about to make a GSOR 1008 video. So that'll be the next one up. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully you'll see that GSOR video very soon. So thanks for hanging out, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.